what makes one VAR. One VAR is an original entire ecosystem with a self-assembling supramolecular structures. The components are zinc, an essential mineral, a proprietary culture of prokaryotes and eukaryotes with their theater of activity, a long chain sulfated polysaccharide, LCSP, of vegetal origin, endowed with GCMAF-like activity. And then there are two botanical extracts. The first one is a botanical extract with known anti-inflammatory, immune-modulating, anti-cancer, antioxidant properties. Then there is a second botanical extract that contains a natural free phenolic compounds, fibers, macro and micro nutrients with known anti-inflammatory, immune-modulating, anti-cancer properties and known to rebalance sugar and lipid metabolism. If you do not know what GCMAF is, I recommend that you take a look at this article that was published as a special report in a famous British magazine called What Doctors Don't Tell You. And actually, this is the cover of the magazine. Well, if you want to go to PubMed, which is the official website of the US government, and you just look for GCMAF, you will find it is proposing cancer immunotherapy in viral conditions from COVID-19 to HIV, and also in a neurodegenerative diseases. For example, this article deals with multiple sclerosis. And I have published a number of scientific articles on GCMAF that, again, you can retrieve from PubMed. Just look for Ruggiero GCMAF and you find a number of articles where I describe a number of effects of this molecule as well as I explain its mechanism of action. Another important point is that one VAR is designed according to a proprietary, highly innovative procedure that optimizes molecular interactions between its uh, uh, four or five components so to increase their respective activities. If the biological activity of each individual component of one VAR were 10, the overall activity of the self-assembled components would be 10 by 10 by 10 by 10, 100 thousand rather than 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 that makes 50. This synergism is obtained at the molecular level through carefully calibrated interactions associated with the distribution of charges on the surface of molecules leading to self-assembly of entirely original supra and super supramolecular structures. A long chain sulfate polysaccharide LCSP of vegetal origin endowed with GCMAF-like activity. Uh, if you look at the LCSP and at this other molecule that is chondroitin sulfate, I think that you can recognize that these two molecules are very, very similar. What has chondroitin sulfate to do with one VAR? As I have shown before, LCSP is very, very similar structurally to chondroitin sulfate. And this is important because I demonstrated together with my colleagues, Dr. Stefania Pacini and the great German doctor, Dr. Heinz Reinwald. In 2016, we demonstrated that chondroitin sulfate is responsible for the biological effects of GCMAF. You can retrieve this article from PubMed, the official website of the United States government. How do we know that the LCSP has GCMAF activity? Not simply because it looks like a chondroitin sulfate. There have been experiments on colon cancer cells. And as we can see, there is a dose-dependent inhibition of the alpha nagalase from colon cancer cells by this LCSP. Please notice these are micrograms, so very, very tiny amounts. So it's very, very effective in its GCMAF-like activity against Nagalase. But LCSP does more than simply being or having GCMAF-like activity because it has a number of other activities that contribute to the health-supporting properties of one VAR with particular reference to immune modulation. It has been demonstrated that it enhances the phagocytic and secretory activity of macrophages, induces the production of nitric oxide and cytokines like TNF-alpha, IL-1, interleukin-1, and interleukin-6. These were taken under a microscope. So uh, these are big human breast cancer cells. These are other big human breast cancer cells. These little dark blue 
dots are macrophages. So you see how many, ma how many macrophages they surround the cancer cells. Can you see here the macrophages is drilling a hole inside the cytoplasm of the cancer cell. And this is the nucleus of the cancer cell and the cancer cell is dying of apoptosis. That is, its DNA, it's all fragmented. So you see, its DNA has all these little dots. It means it is all cut in pieces. And here you can see other macrophages that are drilling holes in the cytoplasm. In the, so they're killing the cancer cell. How do they kill the cancer cell? Thanks to the production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is like a bullet that the macrophages use to shoot and kill the human breast cancer cells. And this is a common mechanism. But let me just bring an example. It's Saccharomyces boulardii. Let me just list a few of them. Antimicrobial, antitoxin, anti-inflammatory. But most important in the context of one VAR is the regulation of immune responses, among which it triggers the activation of complement and migration of monocytes and granulocytes, thus synergizing with a natural GCMAF of one VAR, that is the LCSP. Enhances the mucosal immune response, enhances the systemic immune response, contributes to earlier production of interferon gamma and interleukin-12, stimulates regulatory T cells, modifies migration of lymphocytes in a chronic inflammatory bowel disease model, modifies, that is improves, lymphocyte Adherence to endothelial cells improves cell rolling and adhesion. In other words, it has a number of functions that support the immune system. In one VAR, zinc is particular because it is arranged in a supramolecular complex with other components. So to achieve optimal absorption, pharmacodynamics, and intracellular efficacy. This happens because zinc is a metal and it has a valence of plus two. Thanks to its positive charge, zinc in one VAR is bound to a long chain sulfated polysaccharide. That is a highly negatively charged molecule. This binding affects the structure and function of the LCSP. This can help to protect the LCSP from damage and improves its GCMAF-like activity. This cartoons depicts the interactions and the self-assembly of zinc with the LCSP and the polyamines produced by the Saccharomyces boulardii. And this leads to the formation of a multimolecular complex in the aqueous ionic environment of the intestine. How can we assess the efficacy of one VAR on the immune system? When macrophages are activated, they release nitric oxide a molecule that is essential for the killing of cancer cells and cells infected by viruses. So this is how we can demonstrate that one VAR works, by looking at the nitric oxide that is released by the macrophages. And how can we do this? Well, let's remember nitric oxide does many things. One of these things is to induce vasodilation. So now the blood vessels under the influence of nitric oxide become larger, wider, and there is increased blood flow. So now we have to find macrophages in our bodies and we have to assess whether they release nitric oxide or not. So in our spleen here, on the left, we have a high concentration of macrophages. And we can easily use this, uh, study the spleen using ultrasonography. So let me show you the next couple of slides they show you how release of nitric oxide from activated macrophages can be studied in the spleen. So this is before assumption, and you see only a few blood vessels, not much blood circulation in a normal spleen. But after the assumption, look at this, look at all these colors. Uh, here, both the cortical vessels and the healer vessels of the spleen, they are vasodilated a lot of blood flow. So this indicates that there has been a huge release of nitric oxide by the activated macrophages. Why one VAR has this name? This is not a commercial name. This is a code name. Commercial name designation is different in each different country. A good friend, Mr. Choi Yuk and Annabiologics will decide 
how to baptize uh, one var in the country, in the Republic of Korea or in China or in Southeast Asia or wherever they want. This product is made exclusively for them. One var is made in Switzerland. So it's a product of Switzerland. And I think that you all recognize that Switzerland is known all over the world for the highest quality of its product. Our manufacturing plant is certified by Demeter. Demeter certification is a guarantee for consumers that the products come from biodynamic agriculture. So one var is manufactured in a facility that is certified by Demeter. And I tell you, very, very few supplements in the world can make this claim because it's very difficult to have certification by Demeter. It goes well beyond the requirement of organic certification by requiring farmers to use biodynamics preparations, which are made from plant, animal, and mineral materials. And for the consumer, the Demeter certification is a way to ensure that what they are buying is produced in a sustainable and ethical way.